and welcome back <laughs> to Open Your Eyes. While it's cool out there, I'll tell you what, it's even cooler in here. Yeah. Tishina is here with us, Tishina <laughs> Vaughn, who is a Metropolitan Opera singer. And this says Poor GN Best Audition. So mm -hmm. we're looking forward to it. Tishina, welcome to Belize. Thank you so much. I love it. <laughs> yeah, day two. Yeah, you can day see that already. Two already. Yeah. What's not to love? Yes. Yeah. So what are your thoughts? How do you feel? You're in a new country. It is. A Caribbean, Central American country. What are your thoughts so far? Well, I love the Caribbean. I mean, I've been to other Caribbean countries yeah. and, I, and I know uh, a number of, of Caribbean people. Yeah. And you know, So it's a little bit of home. Actually, driving in from the airport, I um, said to um, Karen, that uh, it actually reminds me a little bit of part of North Carolina. Mm -hmm. It has the same sort of lush greenness, yes, yes, and uh, yes. we don't have the Caribbean Sea, but uh, <laughs> we have the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> but uh, but I love it so far. We had some lovely food yesterday. The people are so nice, yeah. and uh, you know, sitting at my hotel just watching the water. Oh. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> so Tashina, it's it's very interesting. We got a preview that you were coming. Okay. Because. Uh, last week we had the Austrian uh, musician Musicians with us, Peter, were in, yes. and uh, he was actually the one who recruited you to come down here. Exactly. Tell me about this, and and what were your thoughts when you said Lise? Well, uh, actually, I was speaking with Peter Ilyovsky, who is uh, the founder, I guess, and organizer of the Belize Academy of Performing Arts. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is uh, in in gestation at the moment. Yeah. Um, and uh, and I called him because I have a my next uh, uh, performing job is in Vienna, mm -hmm. and I knew he was there, and I was looking for an apartment. And while we were having this conversation, we were catching up. What's new in your life? What's new? And he said, Well, I've got this. Belize, have you ever been to Belize? It's uh -huh. amazing. And the talent and the people and the music and everything. And, uh, and that he was, he was forming this uh, Belize Academy of Performing Arts and if I would be interested in, in participating in that. Yeah. And then that led to, because I'm performing at the moment in New York, uh, the opera Porgy and Bess, mm -hmm. which is uh, by George Gershwin and uh, really just this sweeping masterpiece of, yeah. of emotional, uh, I can tell you, theatrical experience. Yes. Yeah. Um, he then had the idea of how about a Porgy and Bess in Belize. Wow. And I thought, well, is there... If First of all, an opera tradition there, any kind of, you know, uh, a th but there is a musical theater tradition. You do have a theater and you do do music. So, hey, we're looking forward to, yeah, <laughs> trying to bring this project, get it on its feet. Yeah, you know, that's, and I gotta say, it, clearly you have the very similar passion that he has when we, yeah. we spoke to him. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> about being able to allow for people to grow in the talents that they do possess. So in doing your homework about, um, and especially vocalists, yeah. because that's what you're going to be looking for. Yes. Uh -huh. um, in doing your research and, and kind of what you've found out since you've gotten here, uh, what are your thoughts in terms of being able to put this production together? Well, it's imminently possible for sure. Um, and I think that people should, first of all, not judge themselves. Because what I always say is that everybody can sing. Everybody with a mouth and tongue but and not breath. Well. Ah, <laughs> but that can be taught. Okay, yeah, that's why we learn, you know. Yeah. But the fact of the matter is, like, you have feet, you can walk. Okay, <laughs> you know, okay. you have vocal cords, you can sing. Yeah. It's just a matter of learning the correct uh, coordination of the muscles and the breath and the resonators mm -hmm. to produce the sound that you want. So we're talking also about an audition coming up, which brings me to ask yes. you, at what point in your life you decided, this is what I want to do? Yeah. I was about six years old. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know opera immediately? Though? No, okay. the opera wasn't in it. Yeah, yeah. Was, just sing. So where yeah. did you start? How sing. did that start? Well, I okay. I wanted to sing in. The, I sang in church, obviously in the choir. Ever since I was a little girl, six. To, and when I was about fifteen, my mother moved to Atlanta, Georgia, for mm. her for her job. And um, there was a performing arts high school, and one of her colleagues had their their children in the school and I guess they spoke about it at work yeah. and one day she said come we're, we're going over you're going to go yeah. sing this song for this man and the next thing I know was in performing arts high school cool um, and even at that though there was mostly Broadway and I was on the way, way to being the next Aretha Franklin that was my oh. goal I want to be Aretha Franklin yeah. um, and then at the end of the high school uh, the the man who ran it his name is William Dinsmore said to me I think you're an opera singer they could you know hear it in the sound you need good ears you need uh, someone who you know, no points this out. 
So William Dinsmore pointed out that he thought my voice was an operatic voice and helped me get into university. Cool. And but uh, what was your reaction though? You're, you're thinking of, of being the next Aretha. Yeah, yeah. And uh, comes yeah and says, I wasn't too. really into it. I wasn't really into it. I wasn't really into it. As a matter of fact, I eventually did not continue. I got a scholarship to Georgia State University where I started studying classical music. Mm. But um, you know, a lot of, um, of of these things where you have a private teacher, it, that relationship is very important. And yeah. what you get from that private teacher will influence how you go on. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have the right teacher at that time, so I quit. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like the opera world anymore. I didn't understand what she was trying to do. So I went back to musical theater for about half a year. Okay. Yeah. And then I discovered another school and another teacher. And he was the perfect he really made me understand what it was we were after, the difference between singing popular music or, or classical music, and how to make ha, get all the um, skills and make a choice, yeah. as opposed to being limited. You know, because if you don't have any technical background in your singing uh, life, you are quite limited because you you can only do certain things. Yeah. Yeah. But if you learn to use your, it's just like driving a car. If you learn all about the car, mm -hmm. you can use it in all kinds of ways. Yeah. Drive it fast, drive it slow, drive it in snow, drive it in rain, drive it in sun, you know? Just like with the voice, if you learn how to use it, then you can drive it in all kinds of conditions. So I'm yeah. sure over the course of your career, you've really had to explain to people just the significance of, of being an opera singer. Yes. Um, it requires enormous talent and a lot of training and discipline. Yeah, more more training than talent. Yeah, more yeah. training than talent. It so, really is. So, you know, as you said very early on when it was suggested to you that you were going to be suited for opera, you, you yeah. were kind of apprehensive about it because it isn't as mainstream. Exactly. is what we're accustomed well, to hearing. Obviously, it's not part of my culture. I yeah. didn't grow up in an operatic household hearing yeah. classical music every day. Yeah. Um, so it was a foreign element to me. And uh, and uh, but what I've come to understand is that opera is the grandest of all the musical. Really? Uh, oh yes, because you know even in, in a musical power. in a musical piece you will have you may have a band four or five piece band some yeah. dancers some singers on stage. But in opera, you've got a 60, 40 to 60 piece orchestra in the pit making this powerful sound. Yeah. You've got, you know, these costumes and sets that are, I mean, I work in the theater in New York that seats 4,000 people. Whoa. You know, I mean, it's huge. 4,000 people can view each one of these performances. Yeah. And there's a backstage area that's like football field long you yeah. know and so it combines and there is dance there is singing there is music uh, instruments are playing so it, it's the grandest because it combines all the elements mm. of theater mm -hmm. yeah. that are possible to come together now we even do video backdrops and then you have the sets and the costumes and yeah, yeah so uh, I did eventually fall in love with it yeah. wow. and I really do believe it is this um, and, and I was asking last night people have you ever been to an opera mm -hmm. because it is a different experience so what was that turning point for you? I guess when I I did finally see my first opera, yeah. uh, and I realized it was I was really transported by this experience. I wasn't just sitting there hearing something nice and you know being a, but Dancing it was really along. doing something in me. You know, mm -hmm. it's a very I find and Porgy and Bess this opera today is a really I always say Porgy and Bess changes lives. It is a trans. Formative experience to How so? be. Yeah. What it, is Porgy and Bess? Well, it is a universal story of love and loss. Mm. It is of a community. It is actually the story, a slice of life about the community Catfish Row in South Carolina, and it was based on an actual uh, area. Uh, and it is the story of, of what happens in the lives of this community, Catfish Row, mm. and how it affects all the members of the community and all the uh, members of the area. Uh, and, and individually, the story of Porgy and Bess is a love story um, that's, uh, I won't, you know, don't want to give it spoilers. No, no spoilers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a, it's, but it's a, a tragedy. But there's going to be love, there's going to be tragedy. Yeah, and there's, there's going to be, be triumph. entertainment, and there's triumph, and there's uh, dance, and there's, you know, wow. there's all kinds of uh, uh, elements to There's something for everyone there. So the auditions, you're not just looking for people who are going to sing opera. You're looking for the full group. I'm looking for the full group. I think that every we also need children. We need, uh, you know, actors. 
We need uh, people. There will also be people who we call them supernumeraries. They don't necessarily have to sing or dance, but I might need them to carry something from one side of the stage <laughs> to the other. <laughs> you know? So, yes, I think that you know, if, if you have any interest in theater, any interest in music, any interest in dance, we'd really like to see you today. Yeah. yeah. But you know, and one of the things. We love theater, yeah. but we just don't get the opportunity to do it, do it as I often. I was allowed to go there. And the challenge is the practice time. You yeah, know, yeah, most people yeah. have a full time job, yes. and how do you um, commit to something? Because it takes an immense amount of commitment right. to follow through. Well, I think you have to think of these sorts of projects like Olympians. Hmm. You know, um, Olympians train all the time for something that happens once every four years yeah, for what? Three weeks. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, it's not quite that extreme, but an operatic production is very similar to an Olympic event like that. Yeah. So if I, for example, my, the piece that I'll be doing the next in Vienna is actually in Russian. It's by a composer named called Prokofiev, mm -hmm. and I will have to sing it in Russian. Wow. Um, so I've been learning it for a year. I've already, like, you know, months ago, translated online, you know, yeah. with a Russian dictionary. And, it, and first of all, you know, Russian is one of those languages that not it doesn't yeah. use these letters. Not at you all. You first got to yeah. get from their letters and very to these languages. letters yeah. and yeah. then translate what does that mean in English, yeah. you know. Um, but so my, my point it being that there's a whole bunch of, uh, let's say, finite, uh, very finite, um, fine preparate fine tuning yeah. that goes into the preparation of the preparation so to speak yeah so that by the time i arrive in uh, vienna we will have i think a four-week rehearsal period mm -hmm. um so i i'm at that place where i just need then we, we're putting everybody's putting their various elements together mm -hmm. it's not we're learning it in those weeks yeah so that's what i mean like so an olympian for example he starts learning stretches let's say he wants to be a swimmer mm -hmm. you know he starts learning stretches and the breathing and the proper strokes and stuff yeah. Years way before, before. Yeah. way before, so that in the four weeks that he has there, he's able to show. But th there is a period of intense training just before yeah. the actual event. Mm -hmm. And that's what we will have about three weeks of intense rehearsals before the actual event to put all the elements together. But there will be training happening. For example, we hope that the, the children and the chorus, they will be learning their music okay. prior to okay. that uh, pre-Olympic training, yeah. and then we will have the Olympic event okay. of the production. Cool. I love your excitement yes, about it. I am. Yeah. I love my job. I do. <laughs> You're also doing vocal training as well, yeah. right? Well, this is what um, I hope to be able to bring as a component to the Belize Academy of Performing yeah. Arts. Okay. I was just speaking to uh, one of the um, directors of it about, um, I like to call them intensives so that people can get a chance to be exposed to what it is what is being offered and see if it's really for them yeah you do something called intensives which also lasts maybe two or three weeks mm -hmm. and you can sign up for this and you get a chance to um, give to, like um, you commit yourself to three weeks of really intensive being there yeah so you have uh, in the morning uh, some sort of uh, stretching and introduction to because we singing is also a very physical thing you know you don't have a, a keyboard or things you have your just your body yeah. so you learn to use your instrument your body as an instrument yeah. first of all you wake it up and then in the course of the day you might have some group singing courses and then you would have individual lessons uh, and then and this would go on for two or three weeks yeah. in this summer intensive so to speak mm -hmm. and then at the end you would have a presentation whether it just be a, a, a cohesive scene from an opera mm -hmm. yeah. or a different arias you know, different selections that each one could do mm -hmm. so that uh, then people would have an opportunity to see is this for me you know yeah. is this something I can really get into and in that way you build the perform the Academy mm -hmm. and the training opportunity the training is going to be specifically for opera singing or just singing no in general? singing in general yeah. singing okay. in general yeah I, I, I mean the te a, a singing technique can be used in any kind of way, but okay. you need a technique so you don't hurt yourself. Did you know? You know, everybody wants to hear you sing right now. I know. And <laughs> I know what singers always tell me when they come here. It's too early for their <laughs> yeah. voice. You know, I actually in the shower. I was saying to Michelle, I actually was in the shower and thought, "Can I?" Mm, no. <laughs> 
do we have a video clip? Because I think it's so critical that people oh, see great. That's the good. power <laughs> of your voice. And, and, and that's really, it, it's so captivating. Thank you. Um, so I, if we can get a clip lined up so we can be able to, to air it so yeah, people let's can do that. Let's see. Do that. Okay, um, fantastic. For themselves. fantastic. I, I was prepared, we were prepared for that. Uh, that no, response. really, I was in the shower like about quarter to seven. Going, mm -hmm. Me, whoo, mm, no. No. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Uh, here we here go. We go. <laughs> And uh, we're back just like that. So we, 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 we heard you. You asked the question, are they seeing me? Yes, we saw you. <laughs> but not here. No, <laughs> yes, we saw you. You're phenomenal. Thank you. You, you told the story and the, the, the posture to your body and what you're singing and how you're yeah. doing it. It yes. says a lot. Yes, 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 wow. yes, 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 yes. How long ago was that uh, performance? That was actually in Graz, Austria. Mm -hmm. um, wow, maybe eight years ago. Wow. Yeah, yeah, quite some time now. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Tishina, that power. I mean, is, is that something that you just <laughs> naturally possess or something you've learned to harness? Well, you learn to harness, yeah. I think yeah. that um, there is a, a, a clue about it, you know, in your in your life. People, when that my because my cousin said, I was always loud when she used to babysit me. <laughs> It was always loud. Um, so I think maybe there is something about it already that's there, but it really is learned and, and learned to use the instrument. So we're looking forward to the auditions and uh, I, I definitely, we definitely want to get the date. But one of the things about our country uh, is that, like Marlene mentioned, we have zero um, exposure, exposure. To, yeah. to opera. But this is actually a profession. This is oh, a way yes. of life. It is a career. This is your career. I'm 30 years in this career. 30 years yeah. in this career. This yeah, is how yeah, you yeah. make your living. Every day. When are the auditions and uh, tell us about it. So the auditions will begin today at 3 o'clock. We're asking that you come early if you plan to be there at 2.30. We're going to have the sign-up sheet out for you to sign up. Uh, they will go. We will hang around until 7 just yeah. in case people have to work and come later. We ask that you uh, contact the Bliss Theatre if you're planning to come later. Uh, and we're going to take the last uh, entry at 6 so we don't be there too late. But yeah. we hope we'll be at the Bliss Theatre from 3 to 7 today. Auditions for the production of Porgy and Bess in Belize. And it's a musical theater, so you're looking for dancers, you're looking yes. for singers, yes. you're looking for stage hands, you're looking exactly. for the full production. The full Molly. What, <laughs> what's the um, level of expertise what someone has to have to um, audition? Can I just say, hey, I want to try, can just put show me where up. you can. Just show up. We don't need any expertise. This is a, a, you know, something to get all of us to get our feet wet. Yeah. yeah. You know, so yeah. You, you're going to train some Belizean opera singers? I'm going to train them. Yes, yes, yes. There are, you'd be surprised that they, uh, uh, I have a very wonderful uh, colleague from Trinidad, mm -hmm. you know, so opera singers are from all over the world. Don't wow. think that Belize can't have their superstars. Yeah. Have yes, they can. Yeah. Yes. And I mean, I'm sure that six year old never saw herself uh, in, in Europe singing Italian or in You Russia are so Russian. right. <laughs> yeah. I say that often, you yeah. know, that's what you call the grace of God. Yeah. When does it roll out of Peruvian best in Belize? Jew. Oh. In June. Oh, you are yes. on a tight deadline. Yeah. yeah. Hey. But it seems in like for you're a penny, in for a pound, right? <laughs> <laughs> Tishina, oh, this is great. The yes. auditions it's today. Today. It's just yes. one day only. Just one day today. We'll see what kind of turnout we get today. If it's overwhelming, then we'll have to extend. Oh, okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs>
I love it. We can't wait to find out more. Uh, this is your opportunity. If you wanted to be a part of musical theater, uh, they're going to be doing the training in addition to uh, getting everybody ready for the production. Thank you so much for thank coming. You, thank, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Such a pleasure to meet you both. And enjoy your time in Belize. I will. Uh, I'm sure we'll see you back before the actual production. Yes, I hope so. I really hope so. And you'll show us what you've taught John to see. Yes, that yeah. voice. Now yeah. I'll be looking for you this sure. evening. You want to try? You want to try? Okay, no. come on. We will take that break, and when we come back, it's for the rapper. I love it. <laughs> We'll be right back, we'll be right back, we'll be right back. <laughs>